Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the Roborock E5 Vacuum Cleaner User Manual. Product Overview Robot Clean Power Press to start cleaning Press and hold to power on or off Power Indicator White Battery level greater than or equal to 20% Red Battery level less than 20% Breathing Charging or starting up Flashing red Error Dock spot cleaning Press to return to the dock Press and hold to spot clean. Dust bin latch. Filter. Wi-Fi indicator light. Off. Wi-Fi disabled. Slow flashing. Waiting for connection. Fast flashing. Connecting. Steady. Wi-Fi connected. Air vent. Speaker. Parts list. Charging dock. Moisture proof mat. Remote controller. Power cable. Adjustable water tank. Mop cloth. Robot and sensors. Obstacle sensor. Dock locator, bumper, cliff sensors, omnidirectional wheel, charging contacts, motion tracking sensor, side brush, main wheel, main brush, main brush cover latch, charging dock, dock location beacon, power indicator, power cable connection, charging contacts, remote controller, arrow buttons for remote control, start pause, dock, power level, spot clean, battery compartment, Basic Parameters Installation. Important. Position the charging dock. Place the charging dock against the wall on a flat surface and plug it into mains power. Secure the moisture proof mat. After securing the charging dock, wipe the area where the moisture proof mat will be placed with a dry cloth as shown. Stick the double-sided tape first to the moisture proof mat then in position on the floor. Power on and charge. Press and hold the U button to power on. When the power indicator is on, place the robot on the charging dock to charge. This robot is equipped with a high-performance lithium-ion rechargeable battery pack. To maintain battery performance, keep the battery charged. Download app. Search for Me Home in the App Store or Google Play or scan the QR code below, then download and install the app. Reset Wi-Fi. Open the top cover of the robot to reveal the Wi-Fi indicator light. Press and hold the U and buttons until you hear the resetting Wi-Fi voice alert. The reset is complete when the Wi-Fi indicator flashes slowly the robot will then wait for a connection. Adjust flow rate. Toggle the switch to adjust the flow rate according to your needs. Fill the water tank. Open the water tank, fill it with water, and close it tightly. Install the mop cloth. Dampen the mop cloth and squeeze it until it stops dripping. Insert it into the mounting slot in the water tank. Install the module. Slide the mop module in line with the alignment marks on the rear of the machine until you hear a click. Remove the mopping module. After the machine completes cleaning and returns to the charging dock, press the two side latches inwards and pull to remove the mopping module. Cleaning method. Once started, the robot will clean in a Z pattern. Once all areas have been covered, it will clean along the wall to effectively cover the entire floor. It will then automatically return to the charging dock. Routine maintenance. Dust bin and filter. Open the top cover of the robot, press the dust bin latch, then lift and remove the dust bin. Remove the filter and empty the dust bin. Main brush. Flip the robot over and press the main brush cover latch to remove the main brush cover. Remove the main brush and clean its bearings. Remove any entangled hair. Reinstall the main brush and replace the main brush cover. Clean the washable filter. Fill the dust bin with clean water gently shake it, then pour out the dirty water. Remove the filter and rinse it with water. If necessary, rinse the filter and tap the filter frame repeatedly to remove as much dirt as possible. Main wheels. Use a soft dry cloth to wipe and clean the main wheels. Side brush. Turn the robot over and remove the screw holding the side brush. Remove and clean the side brush. Reinstall the side brush and tighten the screw. Mop cloth. 
Remove the mop cloth from the mopping module. Clean and dry the mop cloth. Omnidirectional wheel. Turn the robot over. Use a small screwdriver to pry out the axle and remove the wheel. Rinse the axle and the wheel with water to remove hair and dirt. Dry and press the wheel back in place. Robot sensors. Four cliff sensors on the bottom of the robot. Obstacle sensor at the front of the robot. Motion tracking sensor on the bottom of the robot. Charging contact areas. Use a soft dry cloth to wipe the charging contacts on the charging dock in the robot. Troubleshooting. For more updates subscribe to our channel.